Hi there! Thanks for joining in and welcome to Code Box. In this tutorial, we will walk through 5 ways to pass variables between pages in JavaScript. If you want to follow along, the code download is on the Code Box website. Link in the description box below. Method 1. Session Storage. The session storage is a small area to hold some temporary data. In the first page, use session storage.set item to put variables into the session. However, take note that the storage is unable to store arrays and objects directly. To work around, we JSON encode it into a string before storage. Redirect to the second page when the processing is done. Then in the second page, we use session storage.get item to retrieve the variables back. To turn the string back to an array, use the corresponding JSON parse function. Lastly, we can also use the remove item or clear functions to remove data from the session. That's all. But take note that the session variables will only exist in the same window or tab. The session data is automatically deleted once the window or tab is closed. Method 2. Local storage. The local storage is the cousin of session storage and works in a similar manner. But the local storage is persistent and will remain even after the window or tab is closed. Method 3. Query string. Or as some may like to call it get variables, append data to the URL string. In the first page, we create a new URL search params object. Append all the data. Then, redirect to the second page and use the toString function to help create the query string. In the second page, we create a URL search params object again. But this time, we pass in the window location search query string. Then, simply get the variables back. Method 4. Cookie.
In the first page, we create a URL search params object and append the data. Then, to save it into the document cookie, we have to assign it using a key equals to data string. Finally, redirect to the second page. In the second page, getting the variables back is quite a task. First, we retrieve the cookie, split it, and isolate the pass part only. Then using URL search params again, we get the variables back. While this method works, this is not the original intention and usage of a cookie. Not recommended. Keep this as a desperate last resort. Method 5. Open a new window. In the first page, Simply open a new window to the second page. The window.open function will actually return a window object. Then, we can set an onload function for the new window. Simply reference and pass the variables over. In the second page, the variables will be passed over as it is. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.